Welcome to this lesson where we're going to go through how to make a new JPlayer block, find a block to put it in, and then add some tracks. So, first of all, let us find a place where we want to put our block. This looks like a nice page. We can see that we have the main page here, but there's nothing on the right hand side. We could add it on the right hand side that's called sidebar second. We could also have it at the bottom in content. This area here is called content. We can always change that later. At the moment I'm going to choose to put it in sidebar second which will appear on the right hand side. Now I've logged in as you can see the black bar at the top. It shows that I am an administrator. To add a JPlayer block we have to hover over content go to add content and then you click on J player that will bring me to a new page I can give it some title such as some cool music we don't have to worry about the body We're not, that's not going to be displayed and then all we have to do is add some, add some music so I've added chicory it has an extension of mp3 because it is allowed, that is an allowed format. Also each file has to be less than 16 megabytes. After selecting it I can click on upload. While I'm waiting for that to upload I can make some other options such as the menu settings. I can give it a menu link. I can also give it a URL path, which is where it will be found inside the website. For this lesson, I will be only uploading this file. OK, it has uploaded. We can now give it a name, which will be the title of the track. And also, we can add some extra information. So it says the artist. Here I can add a new file, another music, if I wanted to. And then I'd have two. Let's just do that. So I'm adding Clematis as well. OK, now I can give this a description, just as the other one had. I'll call it Clematis, and it's by Andrew Morris. I also have the option to add a new file, and I can continue to adding files as I please. When I finish, I click on Save. I'm brought to the actual block. This is its location, node 65, node 4 slash 65, because I didn't give it a unique one, and it's just allocated 65 to it. Here I can play it to see if it's working. I can click on the next track to see if Clematis is there. It is indeed. OK, so I'm all set and ready to put my block into the region I want it to be. So first of all, I need to find the page. I want it to be in performing Midsummer Music. I click on that page and I look at the top bar. This is the address. This is where the location and the name of the pages. It is in performing Midsummer Music. So everything after musicalremedies.com forward slash I need to copy. 
So I copy that with Command or Control C, and then I go over to Structure. Now Structure is in my administration menu in the top box, top black box at the top. I then hover over Blocks because this is a block, JPlayer block that I need to change. That will take me into a another page for blocks administrating all the blocks and as you can see we have a block a region and operations every new block that I create and that hasn't been allocated a region is called disabled so I can go all the way down to the bottom and then find the region called disabled and I see here I've got my node block called jplayer and it's called some cool music I can then click on configure Now, I don't need to change the block title or the no block settings. What I want to do is change the region settings. Now, the only region and only theme that we're dealing with is musical remedies. And we want that to be on the right hand side of the page. So we select the sidebar second in the option. As we go further down, we can see the visibility settings and which pages to put it on. It says show block on specific pages. At the moment, it is default setting is to show on all pages, but we only want it to be on one page, which is performances midsummer performing midsummer music. So I've pasted the part of the link that I copied before from the midsummer music page. Now I'm happy with that, I'm going to click on Save Block. And I can close the Blocks page. On doing so, the page will reload and I can see that my new block is here. Let's just check if it works. Oh, it does! Well that's cool. Let's just see if the other one is. That's quite funky one. Let's see if the other one is on there. Oh, it is as well. Well, that's much more relaxing, and that's definitely midsummer music. Well, I'm very happy with that. Let me just do a check to see if I can hear that as a normal user. When I log out, I am seeing everything as I was a normal user, someone that's not an administrator. So I'm going to go to performing midsummer music to see. Oh yeah, that's cool. That music's just come on here. Hmm, very nice. Let's just increase the volume a bit. Oh, even better. Right. Oh, well, that was a good test. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Let's just see other things that we can do with the configuring the block. If we go back over to performing Midsummer Music, where a block is stored. As we hover over, we can see some cogwheels. We can edit that to add more music, or we can change the title. We can add it the same way that we had before. We can also add menu link and everything else as well. What other options do we have from the cogwheel? We can click on configure block, which takes us to the page where we can add things to its region, change its region. As you can see here, it's already selected as a second sidebar. That's an easier way of doing it. We can also make changes to where it's page, which page it's listed on. If I wanted to put it on another page, I could add it here by making a new line. and then clicking on save. Okay, well that kind of wraps it up for this lesson. Hope you enjoyed that.